children. How are you all doing at home? Good. We have an, a lesson this morning to consider. And it's on English language. Under it, we have reading comprehension. Let's look at the objective for our lesson. By the end of our lesson, we should be able to use illustrations, test clues, and context to make predictions during reading. So, we have seen a picture here. But before we go to the picture, let's revise on what we learned the other time and the English comprehension. We looked at picture dictionary and we saw a lot of picture given and it were given so that we will be able to arrange them according to the order. Anytime we talk about a dictionary, it gives us a meaning to real objects or words. So, in our picture dictionary, we saw a lot of pictures and we are supposed to make sure that they are nicely arranged. Not in any order, but in alphabetical order. That is how a picture dictionary works. So, anytime you see a set of objects, you have to try to arrange them just as we did in our lesson. And I'm sure by this time, you've all learned how to arrange pictures in a dictionary form. Good. Let's continue with today's lesson. Now, let's predict this object we see. Is it an animal or an insect? Watch it carefully. Okay, what do you see? I think the picture on our lesson is a mosquito. We've all heard about mosquitoes before. What do they do? Is a mosquito an animal or an insect? Let's see. Now, a mosquito is not an animal, but an insect. We have flies, we have bees, and other insects, but a mosquito is an insect. Before we move to the main activity, let's look at the key words. We have dangerous. The word again, dangerous. The next word is duck. Duck. Then insecticides. Insecticides. The next word is sweat. Sweat. Then finally we have hospital. Hospital. Okay. These key words will help us to read our passage easily. So let's go on with our lesson. <laughs> 